when people first comes into the church exchange, they look lost. They say, I don't know where to go, don't know what to do. And I came here not, I had no idea what to expect. We were introduced by, yeah. Yeah, by a woman in the door and we say what's going on and she say, just come in for just for five minutes. And I had a look around and there was a table with some people, so I joined it. <laughs> All I walk around is just seeing people on their phones, head downs, they're not talking to no one. You can't even get a smile from anybody. This is the commodity that we're losing out on. Time and space, real human exchange is getting sidelined. Culture's changed. People want a space where they can be more active, more part of something. I would define Tate Exchange as an experiment in a major public institution that tries to get into a conversation and a dialogue and a creative collaboration with the public to open up opportunities for people from different communities to meet and, and talk. We would talk a lot about this idea of the museum of the 21st century and kind of looking forwards and th you know how, how will things change, how do we need to make things change. The Tate Exchange Associates in year one were 53 different organisations from different sectors beyond the art sector education, health, public sector, third sector, youth organisations. And they really created a national network that came together to create the programme between January and June in 2017. Using the space as a sort of an open rehearsal space, so it wasn't like come and see this polished final performance, it was come and learn about the tango or you know come and see kind of dance students and how do they choreograph how do they kind of take inspiration from the collection or different pieces of music so I suppose in some ways it was trying to kind of connect our public to different forms of artistic practice and then how do you invite them into that process art for me has never been about wanting to tell something or to say something in this very explicit way. I think the thing that I come back to all the time is this idea of the way that an art object, whatever it is, makes a kind of offer, makes a proposition into space, in, into a room, into a house, into the mind of the reader or the viewer. They invited me, would I make you know, an intervention at the very beginning of Tate Exchange in this first year. Try to think, what does it make sense to do in that room, on that floor, with this public? How can you animate that space? What's the gesture that makes sense there? The Three Tables performance is an exploration of of, of the idea of exchange between strangers. Doors open, If you were to arrive at floor five and step into Tate Exchange while Three Tables is in operation, now, probably the first thing you would do is see this very beautiful floor and these beautiful windows, and then you would notice that there are these three clusters of chairs around tables and at each of them a performer or at least a group of people you wouldn't even know that it was a performer and you'd see as well that the, beside the tables there was a, a sign if you read the signs you'd see that they said table for the exchange of stories about 
work and money, table for the exchange of stories about love, family and friendship, table for the exchange of stories about ephemeral things. And you might kind of wander around the whole room and think, yeah, I'm going to sit here. And you'd hear that there was a conversation already in place. And maybe somebody would explicitly sort of turn to you and try to pull you into that. I think what Tim's intention was, this is an experiment of, you know, would people do it? Would they come and sit down at this table? Would they give of themselves? We've come up with this theme of exchange. What does that mean? You know, what would it actually mean to participate in something of exchange? I was listening quite a bit, but I mainly talked about um, what was probably on my mind, probably have it holding hair in my arms thinking about the work of looking after children and how that seems to be something at the moment that it's okay to pay someone to look after your children and that's valued but looking after them in yourself is not necessarily valued. I felt quite calm and relaxed and really nice to come to the Tate where I often just sort of looking at things and actually to interact much more so it was well, yeah it was something quite satisfying. I had someone who came and sat at the table with us and he had his hair in a bun. And one of the other uh, participants asked him, is this because of a religious, what's behind this? Or is it just because it's hot? <laughs> and that led him to actually talk about his sister dying of cancer. And because of that, he decided he's gonna grow his hair. And he grows his hair because he then wants to donate it. So, I mean, there's someone who came to the, to the Tate to, to look at art. And there he, he now he made a, a completely different contribution. When I was on the way to the lift, a young man came up to me and said, I was too late to join you, but, but I really, really wanted to speak to you. He had witnessed what was going on and that led on to him wanting to talk to me. I took him and showed him all round Tate and said, look, it's a lovely summer evening. How would you like to walk round the building and I'll take you into <laughs> our community garden. So I'm describing that this Three Tables event has the opportunity in it to act as a trigger where you do not know where the ripples from this event are going to end. I think people were prepared to open themselves up and take on a level of risk which we were completely blown away by. They were there for half an hour, an hour. Some people were there for like two hours. And then some people have now connected with each other and continue to email. They've kind of told us this connection goes on. So for, for some, it was quite a moment in their lives where they had this different form of exchange that they had no idea that they were going to do that day. What's special about Tate Exchange is that it's an unpredictable space. You would see opportunities where people can, can make. Doing, talking, debating, showing, filming, performing, you know, dancing, human interaction. It's like a new birth to Tate. Because I used to say, don't lean over there, don't touch the glass, don't do this. But now I'm kind of saying, hang on a minute, it's okay. Come here, come and touch, come and feel. You know, we're ready to hear. I think what is at stake if you aren't open as an organisation and taking on the kind of values and ideas that Tate Exchange has tried to explore? I think Tim described it quite well of saying a museum can then just be seen as a repository of objects. I think this is a way of trying to kind of connect with different voices, different ideas. It's about having faith in this idea even more, opening a space and knowing that people will step into that if you've designed it in a good way and that something exciting will happen. I 
really enjoyed listening to everyone. I think it's quite rare you get opportunities in person to just sit and listen to different people that you don't know. You know, you might sit with your friends and talk, but that's quite a different context and it's people that you know and you, you probably share similar views about things. I think that you, you always keep something uh, from every experience that, that you have, especially a, a positive experience with uh, foreign people, people that you don't know about. I think it, it's just stuck there in your mind and it opened your mind. You know, if, if you would have this like permanently, I, I, I think, and people would know about this, I, I, I think you would have massive co people coming in and, and, and just be able to share and to hear and to listen. I think it's great. I found myself in a situation where space, non-threatening space had been provided and the opportunity for dialogue on a topic could have been anything. You go into the unknown, it takes the form of an ordinary wooden table. Mm -hmm.